Hello, good evening. <laughs> God bless you. This is Bridget, and I welcome you to the eternal outpouring. Yeah, I'm a little relaxed. <laughs> but I want to come on here. Actually, I'm going to have two messages, but this is my first message. God wants me to let you know you have done the impossible. You have actually done the impossible. Those that you are watching me, you have came through so many obstacles in your life that if it were anybody else, they wouldn't even, they wouldn't have made it through the things you made it through. A lot of people look at your life and they wonder, how did you make it through those things? The average person would have been dead a long time ago. All the hits that you've taken, you kept coming back. You kept getting up. You kept coming back. Life threw you a lot of things. You got hit quite a bit. But it didn't hit you hard enough to kill, steal, and destroy from you. Not where it took your life from you. I want you to know that you are more than conquerors in Christ Jesus. You keep moving. You keep pursuing. You keep planning. You keep running your race ahead of you. So many people watch you. You'll you be surprised of who watch us. Who watch us. And how can we lead someone to Christ? How can we lead someone to betterment if you're not the example you need to be for your children, for your spouse, for friends, uh, uh, for the laws? And that's what we're here. If you are a son and daughter of the Lord, you already know what I'm talking about. There's no way the kingdom of darkness is going to have more on their side than we have in the kingdom of God. It's not going to happen. It's impossible. Satan is already fallen. So when you wrestling and defeating, or you know someone going through trials and tribulations, it's just a testing. It's really a, a, a delusion and an illusion because he's already defeated. He know he had limited time. He has limited time. You have to stay focused. I mean, really focused on where is it that you're going. Don't look back like Potiphar's wife. You keep going. You keep moving into the purpose and the plan that Christ has for you. He didn't die for anything. He died for you. Make sure you're constantly putting on the full arm of God. From the crown of your head to the sole of your feet, you should be calling life abundance, breakthrough, that you are the blessing because you come from the blessing. You are abundance because you come from abundance. You can't be nothing but abundance. And then you walk in the power and, and the mysteries of God because we come from the mystery of God. God loves you so much. He would never allow the enemy to take you out of here. Choices and decisions that we make allow him to come in and step and do those things. But if you are synchronized and aligned in Christ, it's the in Christ, not in this world. This world cannot offer you anything but a bunch of garbage, trust me. If it could offer you so much, look at how many millionaires and billionaires, they so dysfunctional. They are so broken. So money can't buy you. Look on TV. Look at them. The ones we want to follow and they icons and this and that. The only icon I follow is Christ. You can let this world pull you away from lust and this and that and all day long if you choose to. But my life is preserved in Christ Jesus. And if you're a follower of Christ, so is yours. Stay synced. In the promises, in the plans, in the guaranteed eternal order of Christ for your life. And I promise you, you are a miracle sign and wonder. Look at look at the things that you come out of. All you have to do is look at your past. Some of you have gotten shot. Some of you have gotten stabbed. Some of you used to be on dope. Probably got some bad dope. Used to be an alcoholic. Used to be this. Used to be that. Or you listen to my key word. Used to be. Who are you today? <laughs> 
God cleaned you up pretty well. But he didn't do that by himself. You laid your will before him. And you asked him to touch you. You asked him to break those vices off you. That's how you become a new creature. You keep walking in his power. You have people praying for you, rooting for you. You don't have to have a cheerleading section. You make sure you're your own best cheerleader. I love you. Keep moving forward in the things of God. God has remembered you. He has not forgotten you. God bless you.